Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas Fiesta Reload is the match. Now, I think we should go tell the king the ambassador about things and then we can head on towards either Jacobstown or Happy Trails. Jacobstown is further than uh, Northern Passage, so check up so the Northern Passage it is. Which means happy trails. Yes. Look at the way Rex runs. It's adorable. Oh my. Seriously? You know, with three companions, I'm not entirely convinced I have to do anything by myself. My good allies here should be able to provide for anyone. Uh, this is a quest related guy. I should probably teach him somewhere. Wait. No Rex. The free set tag. Yes. Uh, apparently there's a piece of him just floating about. Ignore that. Can we stick him in the barrel? Stick him on the barrel. That will do. At least he is no longer in the way. And that's the important part. Now, since it is night time, going to the strip should be of no problem, but uh, I'm not entirely convinced we will be able to go wherever we need. Wait, that's a, that's a pile of wheels. Where did my barrel go? Did you bring a barrel here? I don't remember. Right then, let's just keep on heading on. I wish there was a transport place to that, but there is not, so we get to do the whole walk every place, time. I, you, I have business with Crocker. I don't think I should have any business with Crocker after this, but I am not entirely convinced. I can hope. And once I had talked with Crocker. We could go get the fourth companion because I have a mod on that allows for six in total, but it does eventually lead into that red a mess. Is looking good, soldier. Right. Of course, they would be complimenting Gay uh, Boon's beret thing. <gasps> he's not home. Well, he's not in the office anyway. Is that the quest we're on? It is. Sit down, Rex. We're gonna have to snoop into the sleeping quarters. Hmm. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear wind. Not in the path. Not in the other path. He gets his own room and all. Nice. Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yes. Yes? Do you have something to report? Yes, that's what I said. I spoke to the king and he promised to stop the violence against NCR citizens. That's great to hear. He's got a lot of sway in Freeside, so we can expect a dramatic drop in violence soon. Now, you're probably wondering about your reward. This has been something of a hot-button topic, so I was able to secure this for you. Alright, glad to be of service. I've received a message from Colonel Moore up at Hoover Dam. She's been following your exploits and has requested that you meet with her. You're not officially in the employ of the NCR, so there's nothing forcing you to go. But I'd go see her sooner rather than later. The Colonel is not someone you want to keep waiting. I'll keep her waiting, I have half the world to explore. Yeah. So, world map, and we have the quest of Happy Trails Expedition. Mm, for this, though, I do think the best idea is to actually get out of the town's borders. Sounds like the NCR and the Legion are both gearing up for a fight. We've been seeing a lot more soldiers around. It's really dark there. 
Let's wait till morning. You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come running. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Oh. That's cool. I didn't quite expect that. I was planning on a nap. Nine hours sounds fine. Alrighty then. I guess we should go back to being on our usual stealthy route. Rex, can you sneak? Or are you always on a sprint? Also, we should have gotten rid of some of the crap before we went on this journey. Hmm. You're not likely to find any traders. But on the other hand, we are going there with a trading caravan, so maybe I can trade with the owner of the caravan before we do anything else. Maybe. Just maybe. Huh. I don't think I've ever been in this particular area. Seems really quiet. Too quiet. What is this plant? Does it have a name? Are the crop circles anywhere? I don't even know. Who are you? A cactus. There's no need to bark, Rex. You get us in trouble. True story, you just... Imagine you barking while we're trying to sneak past a death claw. I'm not entirely certain if NPCs can hear his bark, but you know. That could get me in trouble, as I mentioned. And there is no way to get Poon to remove his hat, I don't think. Which is okay because that suits him well enough. This is not the passage, I don't think. Oh. Okay, uncertain as to why that did not work. Is there an invisible wall? It's not. Did this companion understand that something happened? Okay. Let's get a look at these checkered corpses. They might have something of interest. And since Edith's senses are amazing, we should be able to get in there without getting in any trouble because there is no one else around. Nice. Open this. Okay, try again. No need to break the pins. Oh, well, on the other hand, it had extras. Dirty water. I don't need that. Campfire. Check a gang member. It's just a medics. That's fine. Leather armor. How's my lightweight one doing? Probably well enough. Well... Fact is, I don't actually need leather armor to repair my leather armor, but I'm gonna use leather armor to repair my leather armor because that also makes sense, I guess. Maybe. A little. That looks like the passage, and that looks like a... Wait. Yeah, that uh, certainly looks like a fade rift, so we have to go there and close it. Boon, I don't have the mark. Do you have the mark? 
Because someone here needs a mark. Because otherwise we can't close the, close the pay drift. And that's gonna get us in trouble. Because of the demons pouring in. Obviously. Okay, does it show containers then? Magnum rounds and the whetstone. Um, do we have to walk into the passage on, on our own? Looks like it. Well, no point just hanging around then. Guess you should talk to them. Because we want the job, don't we? Hello, Ricky. You looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Unmerited hostility and general agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, 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 fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! How much psycho you got stashed away? If you run out on the trails, the withdrawal is not pleasant. God damn it! I didn't say nothing about using psycho. But, uh, just talking hypnotheoretically here. Got any suggestions? Yeah, leave now before the withdrawal hits you out on the trail. No psycho for miles. Fine. You win, asshole. Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die! I'm not sure if I was supposed to do that, but... Hello. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah. You look the type. Damn good thing you came along, too. We had another prospect with a pit boy, but he done skedaddled. Something must have spooked the boy. Yeah. Uh... I haven't been through you too recently. What's the situation like? Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Didn't go to raid this. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s, but we won't be passing through their turf on this run. How dangerous are the warlords? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Add some other questions? Shoot. Uh, that's some more for now, but I'll be back. Yeah, reckon you will. Can I talk to you? Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. What are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93? Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. What was it like to grow up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factors off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. 
Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Then we got caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the white legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Well then, 80s a gang or a tribe? What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. What they know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers fell apart ten years ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Okay, bye. Catch you another time, then. Okay, bye. Are you here to join me a while longer? Or are we ready to get this show on the road? Uh, just... What can you tell me about Cyan? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a Pip-Boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Right, then we built Happy Trails Karen Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Uh, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. What can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much Canaan. about the place, but I can tell you about the people. The New Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Do you know anything about their religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own, and they're damn fine marksmen, too. You don't know what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, Happy Trails might as well just shrivel up and die. I have some other questions. Shoot. Uh, just tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan into Zion and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day, half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design, plus another bonus if we reach New Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Who is it? Just don't. It makes the New Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Alright, let's go then.
I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack Brahmin. Alright, I'll come back when I'm carrying less than 75 pounds. There's a chest over yonder. You can store your extra in that. It'll be safe as can be until you get back. Excellent. Um, over yonder, was over here. Nice. Alright, so I put away the guns, the food, the spare ropes, and... Yeah, some of the guns. For except the sturdy cannon shotgun. I don't think that is actually that tower on the strip, the one going to help me anymore. So, um... Let's push, put this under number 3 and put this under number 4 instead. And binoculars under number 5. Sure. And that should keep me nice when and you can safe. See for miles. Let's go. Are you here to jar at me away? Yeah, yeah. Uh, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Okay, okay. Let's go. Are you now? You know we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go back for it? You sure you're ready now? Yes, I am. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. I hear it ain't sealed up. The paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. A few decades back, folks in the NCR started to hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks, sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our share of cults, but the New Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Shut up, Rex. All right, people. Been a long couple of weeks. But here we are. Zion. This point. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired. But I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up there. Ain't no way we're getting back out the way we come. And then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time. And the 15th, too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. And I'm lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get back out the way we come? Now 
It's not a problem. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Down this path to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. But it's already raining, so there's really no way to get there or try like.